Hello, in this video uh, I'm going to be explaining the Little Man computer concept. This is going to be done in two parts, so there's going to be two videos. Uh, the first part focuses on what the Little Man computer is, and the second part is actually going to show you how you can start using it using an online uh, resource. Uh, first of all, I apologise for my, um, the way I sound, I've got a bit of a cold, uh, you can probably pick up on that anyway, but uh, here we go, we'll, we'll crack on. So, the Little Man computer, LMC for short, is a kind of a concept that explains how a computer works in very basic terms. So what I want you to do is imagine uh, a, a man in a room. Okay, so we'll, we'll draw this guy in here. Okay, he's a very happy chap. And this guy's job is to do three things. He is going to fetch instructions. He's going to decode those instructions and he's going to execute those instructions so f d e fetch decode execute and he's going to keep doing this over and over again so you could describe this as a cycle okay so the fetch decode execute cycle so what is inside this room well there is an inbox tray where things come into the room there is an outbox tray where things come out of the room there is also a whole load of mailboxes. Okay, so let's draw those in. This might get a bit squiffy, but uh, we'll draw them in anyway. Each mailbox has an address. Let's draw, finish drawing these in. Oh, the phone, got to put it on silent. Uh, so these are all the mailboxes. Okay, there's, and there's loads. They just keep going, going, and going. Okay, so I'll, I'll kind of show you that they carry on going with a little squiggle. So each of these mailboxes has an address. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven onwards. Okay, so they, they just keep going. Um, and oh, let's put let's put mailboxes here. So mailboxes. Okay. There is also a uh, what we'll call a calculator. Really it's the accumulator. Uh, so actually let's do it by the correct term. So, acute, oh dear, what's going on here? I've got a bit of lag on my uh, pad. So, accumulator. Okay, yeah, my pad is lagging, I don't know why. Uh, and there is also what we call a program counter. Okay, so this is our program counter. Okay, so, on here we've got a, a button that adds to the program counter, one that subtracts, and we'll have another one that resets. <coughs> okay. So, this man walks into the room and his job is to go to the mailboxes, which are, he well, first of all, he goes to the program counter and goes to the mailboxes that this, this program counter looks at fetches an instruction or a piece of data and does something with it. So actually, let's, let's write some instructions into this uh, mailbox, into some of the mailboxes. So I'm going to start off by putting uh, the instructions in for a program, which is going to add um, uh, two numbers together. Okay, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain what these are going to do in a second okay, as we go through. So add, and then we want to out that, and then we're going to halt. Okay, so <coughs> get a new color. Okay. So the program counter currently reads zero, and there's nothing in the accumulator, nothing in the in tray, nothing in the out tray. The little man is ready. So he's rocked up, okay, he's ready to do his job. So he walks over to the program counter. He sees that the program counter is pointing to position uh, well, zero, really, I need to make that one, okay? Uh, I'm so used to putting zero at the start of things. The program counter is pointing to position one, so he walks over to the mailboxes, to position one, and he sees that the first instruction is an input. So what he does is he walks over to the in tray, and he fetches whatever is in the in tray. So let's put in the number 10, so he walks over to the in tray, sees that there's a number 10 in there, takes that 10, 
and then puts it into the accumulator. Having done that job, he now changes the program counter and increments it by pressing the, the addition sign to two. So he's fetched an instruction from the mailbox, he's decoded what it says, and then he's executed that command. So he decoded that that meant input, went to the input tray, fetched the, that uh, piece of data, and well, he's executed it and put it into the accumulator. Program counter goes to two, so now what he does is he walks over to position two, looks at the instruction, sees that it says STA, which stands for store, and then it also has a, a mailbox location. So it says store, whatever's in the accumulator, so store, ST store, A accumulator, store the value in the accumulator into mailbox seven. So he walks over to the accumulator and takes that number 10, he copies it and will store it into position seven. So he puts 10 into there. Having completed that, having executed that command, he increases the program counter so it points to position three. So he walks over to position three, fetches the instruction, which is input, decodes it as an input and executes the command. So he walks towards the in tray where there is another number waiting for him, which he sees is number eight. Now his job is to take that eight from the input tray and take it over to the accumulator. What happens now is that whatever was in the accumulator is removed and replaced with the new number. Okay, so the number was eight. Okay. Having done that command, he goes over to the program counter and increments the job. So let's remove that three, and the three now becomes a four. So by now you probably guess what's going to happen. He goes over to position for four, fetches the instruction which says add, and whatever add whatever number is in the accumulator to whatever number is in position seven. So we've got the number seven here. So what he does is he decodes that instruction and executes it. So he takes goes to position seven over here, gets that ten, and adds it to the eight. So he does a bit of a calculation. So he does 10, uh, eight plus 10, giving us a total of 18. Having done that instruction, he goes over to the program counter, increments it from four to five. Five says out, so he carries that out, that, that instruction. So he takes 18, he takes that and transfers it to the out tray. So 18 goes here, still in the accumulator, but you've made a copy and put it into the out tray and out uh, goes 18. Having done that job, he increments the program counter, so it says six, probably easy if I just rub this out. Increments the program counter, so it says six. And walks over to position six, it says halt. He executes that command, which basically says, job is done, you can stop. So now he is happy that he has done his job. That is the basic principle of how a computer works. Think of this as your like, input devices, uh, could be like a keyboard, a, a mouse, a sensor of some kind. Think of this as your output devices like sound or monitors or something like that. And then here is like the CPU, this is like the, CP, the, the accumulator is like the CPU kind of doing the calculations, the number crunching, uh, the program count is just a way, is, is basically a register, it allows you to control where to find the information. And the mailboxes are like your RAM. This is the, the memory of the computer. And the memory of the computer can store instructions. So here's an example of instruction, the input. Okay, these are your instructions. And you can also store pieces of data. So 10 in this case is a piece of data which is being stored. And our program counter is always pointing towards the instructions and then when some instructions will tell you where to get the data from. And at all points you can, uh, you know, increment the program counter and then adjust the program counter to point to different memory locations. So that's the basics of how the little man computer works. And if you understand that, then you can go on to the next video and look at how you can actually start programming the little man computer. If you don't understand this too well, I suggest watching this video again. Uh, until, you, until you kind of get to grips with it all.